Hello everybody, this is the Hawk36 and welcome back to my Super Mario R Super Mario RPG. My Super Mario Brothers 3 Let's Play. That's what I get for doing two Super Mario Let's Plays. I confuse them in my uh retarded speech. So anyways, this is Big World. World 4 Big World. Which I happen to like. I don't know why. Just something about the big enemies, the big scenery. Everything's big. It's like we're in Texas, but uh, but we're not. So I don't know, I just really enjoy this level. I find it cool you can jump on the cloud there, you know, hit hit some guys. Just just I don't know, this level seems pretty chill to me. At least so far. You get all the big enemies, it's just it's another it's another gimmick world, but it's one of my favorite ones. Like you know you have to have like your standard the ice world, which will be world six when we get there. There's obviously like the grassland, the desert, you know. Levels like that are just standard in games such as this. I mean, this game, for all I know, this game, like, this is one of the uh, earliest platformers, so. This game probably started all that shit, you know? <laughs> Who knows? So, anyways, this, this was a pretty short level, as you can see. I, uh, I handle it pretty easily. And I pick up my star card for once. And we're gonna go into level two. I like the overall uh, music of this level, it's, uh, very, uh,. Upbeat, such as most Mario games. And this level reminds you of the uh, level 3 worlds with the big fish that I was complaining about, the big Berthas. But in this case, it, there's, it's small. So it's weird because like, half the enemies are small here. Like, look at that, like that piranha plant small. But then that one's big. It's like, I don't I'm a bit confused with that, but whatever. Don't ask questions, just kick ass. And again, another level I can just breeze through pretty easily. Will I get the star here? I don't know. Yes, I do. Setting myself up for success. I like it. Success kid. Gets two stars. Hopefully gets a third. We'll see. To be continued. So we're going to go to this mushroom house. And Toza's says, pick a box. And I say, you know what? The first one. And I get a mushroom. And that's pretty lame. I would rather have anything but that. But whatever. It's free, so... Can't complain. So here, yep, I get scrubbed there. I was like, here's this part. I have to like start. Like that was pretty skillful though. To start off running, just kind of hope for the best there. Sometimes I'll use like a star power and just take out those guys right away. But I don't know. I guess I was feeling rebellious today, so I was just like, you know what? Yolo. We're just gonna fly through this and hope for the best. That was a nice little trick there. I thought I was gonna hit that flying Koopa, but I guess not. And at least I'm going to get my uh, flying power back, so that's a good thing it's the best. The spike falling. All that fun stuff. So what do we got here? We got a spiny. I'm not sure, but I feel like I might have some trouble with this level. Which I usually don't. So there's, there's the one up there. So you kind of got to race to try to get to it in time. Like I get a, little, get a little eager there. I get the one up. That was pretty skill. That was like a ping pong shot there. I mean, a pinball shot. Yeah, I feel like this bouncy thing is the death of me here. I could be wrong. Yep. Just bounce myself right off the cliff. Typical scrub fashion. Thank you very much. So, uh, I'm gonna use one of those mushrooms? Why not? I'd rather waste those than, like, anything else. And I, uh, wow. I, I mean, I get hit, but then I always end up hitting the second guy dead on, so. Whatever. It sucks, though, that I just lose it right at the beginning of the level. The sad thing is, like, that could be, like, the hardest part of the level. But for some reason, that bouncy part, with those, like, bricks that make you go in, like, the other directions, like a pinball, is just. with the death of me for some reason. I take a little daring mushroom, uh. escapade there. <laughs> All right, so this is take two. Hopefully, I can succeed this time. That and that those spinies defy gravity. I didn't mention this before in my first run with up through of this level, but like they go up the hill like that. That's kind of ridiculous, but whatever. I'll take it. Jump over the spiny. Get another one up. At least I keep getting the same life. So if I lose, it's like whatever, you know. I hope to god I don't die again. I really don't want to see myself go through this level again. As you people probably don't either. 
And I make it there. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. All right. All right. Not bad. Second try. You get a account for a little scrubbery. And I'm not sure if this is my first one of the game, but if it is, thank God. It took long enough, right? So I got five lives there, nice and easy. And this is going to be one of those big guys that throws hammers, so, uh... Should we prepare for him, or should we go in all willy-nilly? No, we're just, we're not going to mess with him. Just going to run right at him. Take him out. You know, uh... Thinking back, like, watching this now, I probably could have just used a fire flower and just shot one fireball at him. The problem is, if I'm not fast enough, when he hits the ground, the shock stops you in your tracks, and he gets pretty good range with his hammer, so I might be dead if that happened, so I don't know. Monday morning quarterback in there. This part's a little challenging. You gotta run. You gotta run enough to jump up, then you gotta slide and not get hit by that. All while making those fire things, like watching them so they don't hit you. And there's death. At least I made up the hill. There's my mushroom. I go for it and scrub death number. I don't remember. But that was pretty scrub of me. It's almost like an Indiana Jones type booby trap there, like that I set up. It's like, oh, here's like, here's like the, here's the mushroom. You're gonna go get it. Like, yep. And then you just get smashed by this stone, spiky thwomp thing. All right. So hopefully I'm a little smarter in this run. I don't remember, but possibly. And those parts are so tempting. You just kind of want to jump by them sometimes, but it'd be a mistake. And I get it this time. I put the brakes on and textbook slide there. Like I'm sliding to second base, and I don't know why I'm doing that. I guess I'm going to try to jump over him, but he moves insanely slow, so it was really stupid. So we will make it to the boss here, but will I beat him? I don't know. I'm hoping. I don't know if he flies this time, or he just jumps like a maniac at you. So, death number two. Alright, third time's charm? <laughs> we'll find out. Alright, so here we go. Run through this shit. Watch the fire so you don't... That was close. I almost got tipped into that fire there. Sorry, play this cool. Play this cool. Run, jump. I don't have to slide because I'm small as shit, so... Jump over here. Look back. Come on, come on. Jump up here. Get the mushroom. And it goes the wrong direction, figures. <laughs> no luck so far, you know? That thing's gonna go. I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna jump up. Alright, take number two on Boom Boom. I feel like you shouldn't let him charge up his jump. You have to let well, Block kind of save me. You have to get him quick enough that you can take him before he does anything. But if you do too quick, then you get hit by his spikes when he goes on his back. So it's, uh. You have to get the timing just right to beat him there. Especially when you only have basically one life because you're a small fry. My everyone's favorite end card matching game. Let me get uh, three of the items. Ten coins and a mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom, star, flower, and I failed. Don't, don't, don't. And now everybody's favorite matching game. What will I get? Mushroom, mushroom, star. Alright, whatever. Look like a crazy, like, bug looking mushroom. And this level is kind of like a uh, big world water level. Well, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> How stupid of me to sound like that. I meant is it reminds me of like a. Uh... No, the level 3 level just had jellyfish in it that you had to swim through. This, this is basically, there's no enemies besides this one Lakita who just throws these big. Well, they're not big. Regular size spike balls at you, which I fall victim to, evidently. But really, it's not that hard. As you can see. A lot of levels in this game are short. You just know what you're doing, and... Boom, boom, boom. Repetition, repetition, repetition. That's what old games were about. So get a star card. An insanely long waiting time of this guy shuffling around. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. Like, where are you going? Like, make a decision. Be decisive. Pick a box. And it's a leaf. Alright. 
Alright, we got two troopers here. What am I gonna go for? Do I go for the fire flower? Yes, thank god I'm smart this time. So let's just shoot as soon as we can. He's dead. That worked out perfectly. And we get a pea power. It's a pretty good item for a uh, random trooper battle, so. No complaints there. So let's start this level. I think this is a level where uh, if you go through the door, everything shrinks, and if you go back to the door, everything gets bigger again. So it's like your choice. Do you want to play the level as like a regular level, or do you want to play as a big world level? It's like it almost defeats the purpose of the big world, because it's like you have a choice, but I guess it's a cool concept. But it really doesn't matter, you know? It's not like you have to do anything, certain things when the level's all regular, as opposed to when the level's all big. So it's really, I guess, your matter of preference and what you f feel like doing, you know? Like, I, so I just change the small because I can, you know? It's just, it's an option, so I'm going to take the options, because America, fuck yeah, I don't know. Because race car, that's why. So go back to the door. Like, you know what? I kind of want to pick again because I, for some reason, I have an affinity for big things. Ha 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 ha. Why do I say things? Seriously, folks. I don't know. At least the guys are more obvious <laughs> to pick to pick out, I guess. Hit the coins. Hit that bitch. Let's go. Let's go. And no. Fail your to quote Step Brothers. So we're almost to the end here, but I think we have to beat that castle to get the bridge to Terabithia. <laughs> so we got a we got a leaf. That's that's a good thing. So we're gonna go to the castle. We're gonna go to level five, or we're gonna take on the trooper. We're gonna go straight for the trooper. We're gonna hopefully flame him really fast. If we can throw his hammer, quick draw McGraw there. Get a star. Be a star. Like the uh, WWE campaign. Alright, we're gonna flame this turtle. And here's like the, every Mario scenario ever. There's like a flying Koopa jumping downstairs. It's. Can't tell you how many times I've seen that in all these games. Still, it tricks you sometimes. I wonder if this starts. Oh, yeah, it starts the bullet bills that move backwards. I'm not sure if it's my first time seeing them or if they happened in level three one of the levels I could be wrong but I think this is their first sighting the red bullet bills that freaking don't care so here we go that level wasn't too bad it's a few bullet guns and a couple big enemies NBD we get the star but it's moot because, well, we're just gonna get one extra life. Not five, not three, not two. So it's a little, little bit of a letdown. And here, I, my decisiveness says we're gonna go for the castle because I'm probably not gonna win the matching game anyways. And this is a castle of fire in those platforms which make me extremely paranoid and often cause me to have Banjo Kazooie freakouts as. I believe Hyrule Cheese It. In one of his Donkey Kong Country videos, he references that. So be sure to check that series out for him. He got very frustrated with it, but it was uh, fun seeing that game beat. So uh, if you're a fan of platformers, I recommend that Let's Play series. Of course, I recommend any of his videos, anyways, because he's my friend. So. And I use that term very loosely. Ha ha ha. So we're gonna go in these up boxes, which is kind of cool because they're like phantom up boxes, and for some reason they can, I don't know, transport. Even they look like ghosts or whatever. And the question ones you could move by jumping. So go up here. You could get that box, which I don't know, an extra life or something in there. I'm not really sure to be honest. No, I'm not gonna find out because I'm very lazy. So we're just gonna try to get to the top of this. It's kind of cool, I guess. Like we were, like if you remember, we were in the castle level, and you just almost feel like this, is like another level. You're just like, whoa, where did, where did I get transported to? And then you're back in the castle, and you're just like, wow. You get a nice little uh, secret coin room. It's always nice. To give me. 
You know, we get some secret one-ups. And if you notice, you see a block in the upper left corner. I could probably fly if I had the flying power and just and probably go somewhere else special. I don't know. Because I don't have it right now. And here's Boom Boom. But I can just flame on and just destroy him in two seconds. So, easy as pie. Victory is ours. Alright. So that should, yep, that should erect the bridge. The bridge is erect. But, you know what? Despite all the failed attempts, I'm feeling this one for some reason. And wrong. I feel like I've won a total of one of these. I don't know if anybody's keeping track, but... <laughs> I know somebody commented on, on the video, and it's like, Oh, you finally won one. Congratulations. And I just... I was like, my sentiments exactly. And the king has been turned to Donkey Kong Jr. A fate worse than death. But you know what? We're going to change him back, because... He deserves it, I guess. Again, that's another situation where they edited who they king turn into, probably just make random Mario references. Obviously, that wasn't what he looked like in the third one. I think they were just random enemies. I could be wrong. But I digress. This is one of the harder ships, if I remember. This is where the ship starts to not fuck around as much. I mean, more. As much. They, they freaking full throttle Charlie's Angels 2 right here, you know? The key to this part is this jumping on this screw thing. Which takes good timing. Of course, I'm just like, oh, I don't need to do that. I just jump, jump down here and then I have to waste some time with these flaming, like, barrel guns or whatever. <laughs> and derp to derp, 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 derp. That was just terrible. And here's where it would be beneficial if you get those white and black mushroom houses where you get the anchor and the thing can't move. But I guess it's like the anchor's only beneficial if you lose once. Because if you don't lose once, it's kind of moot because you just you don't get to choose where it is already, you know? You just go right on it. So who knows? Alright, so try number two. Hopefully I will fare a little better this time. This time, I will try to, uh, screw the rules and, uh, screw my way across. And hopefully not die in a flaming pile of death. That's right, die in a flaming pile of death. That's a very interesting way to put things. I'm gonna jump across, jump across, jump, 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 just you wanna hear me jump there. Whatever jump-related song helps you get across. Either. Oh, that sneaky bastard. Look at that. I just get... I get the thing. I kill him and he comes right back in two seconds. And he steals my leaf. Like, that is a... That is a situation of dickery right there. That is, I hate that. And right here you have to be very cautious. You have to be at the end so you don't get burned and lose another life. Jump across. You gotta have your uh, platforming, platforming skills hat on. Which I have not lately, but I found it in storage, and uh, I think I think I got it this time. Had I waited, I probably could have jumped, and just jumped to the top of that and skipped all this part, but I did not. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen, and I died again, again. Fail. This one is giving me significant trouble. I think the third time I iron out all the kinks and, you know, I, j I jumped that gap that I was talking about. Like, the gap. Alright, so, you know, we're not just messing around. We're going right in raccoon suit. You know, we're just going out guns a-blazing. We're just gonna fly, man. Fly as far as it'll take us, which isn't that far because the screen isn't panning that fast. And I definitely realized that too late. And I was like, uh, I was like, yikes, bro. We're doing good though, we got 25 lives. I'm, I'm confident in my abilities to get me past this in 25 lives. Definitely less, but. Never underestimate the uh, fact that I'm on camera when I'm doing this, and you definitely just play a little more stupid. Stupid and loose, like Floppy Johnson. Let's jump across this again. I'll do this properly. All you need is enough to just hover across. That's the beauty of the raccoon suit. 
gotta watch out for this friggin' scrub. Like, he only pops up when you get the box, I feel like. Nope. He kinda, like, sneaks out. Like, you don't expect him. It's like candid camera up there. Wow. Like, I'm going for something I already have, just for the point value. Like a broken needle, kid, you're missing the point. Nobody will get that. <laughs> Maybe somebody will, I don't know. Alright, so I jump over there. Am I gonna make a good decision this time, or am I gonna choose poorly again? I think I'm I'm actually gonna wait wait it out a little bit. Because if you get a little too eager, you just you fall for their trickery. But if you do it right there at the right time, boom. You land safe like a cat. Cat like reflexes. So alright, what do we got here? I think this is the end. Like I was so close. Yet so far. Tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't matter. Lincoln Park. Sorry, this guy looks like a scrub. He's a very and as I say that, I look like a scrub trying to get him. He just jumps around like a dick, kinda. He looks like the first boss, but more scrub. And he jumps around. But I take care of him pretty easily. Get the wand. I always like to get it before it hits the ground. I don't know, it makes you feel cool or something. You're a baseball player catching like a fly ball or something. It's so again he makes the catch. As we descend from the heavens like Chuck Norris. The king's turned back and he looks pretty jovial and he thanks us. He's back to his old self. Yada yada yada, letter from the princess. Four worlds down. And what is she gonna give us this time? A princess power. I'm very thankful for that. Anyways, see you next time, folks.